of you think you've seen some weird creatures on our channel. Wait till you get a load of these ten. Some of the weirdest looking creatures on Earth come from the Marianas Trench, where the conditions are so harsh that animals living there had to sacrifice form in favor of functionality. And we're here to talk about the weirdest of the weird. From a fish with eyes that look like barrels to bone-eating worms, here are ten of the weirdest things found in the Marianas Trench. Number 10. The Barrel Eye Fish. Being the deepest part of the ocean, light is a rare commodity down in the Mariana Trench. Having the ability to detect the faintest glimmer of light can mean the difference between a successful hunt or being successfully hunted. So some creatures here evolved to detect low light levels, and in all honesty, all these adaptations made them look kinda weird. Such as the barrel eye fish. This fish has a transparent head, inside of which are two sensitive barrel shaped eyes which are pointed upwards, allowing the fish to see silhouettes of its prey. Scientists think that the clear head allows the fish to collect more light. The more light, the better one sees, you see. Now that researchers have access to deep diving remotely operated vehicles equipped with lights and cameras that can withstand the pressure, they're able to observe the barrel eye more closely. Yet this odd fish still holds many secrets, leaving scientists puzzling over its life cycle and reproduction patterns. Number 9. The Goblin Shark. The completely out of this world looking goblin sharks have a protruding snout that looks like a pointy sword. And just below that are a set of also protruding jaws which, depending on who you ask, seem to be either a complete mismatch for the shark's face or the perfect set of chompers for an extremely strange fish. Definitely big and definitely ugly, these deep sea monsters can grow as long as 5.5 meters. Fortunately, you're unlikely to encounter such a beast. These sharks typically cruise way down to 920 meters, and the older they get, the deeper they dive. As with a lot of deep sea animals, science knows very little about goblin sharks. No one knows exactly how they reproduce, and a pregnant female has never been captured. So, like the goblins of fairy tales, these fish remain a mysterious and fantastic example of just how diverse life on Earth can be. And ugly. Number 8. The Telescope Octopus the telescope octopus is extremely weird when compared to their shallow water cousins. For one, you won't see them flitting about the ocean floor. They'd rather drift through the water column, suspending itself vertically and not horizontally, like when other octopuses swim. Oh, and lest I forget, they do this strange underwater ballet at a depth of 2,000 meters or more. If you're lucky enough to spot a telescope octopus, you'd probably wonder if the underwater pressure was making you see things. Its body is so clear that it's nearly transparent, and between each of its eight tentacles is a delicate webbing that lends this species a ghostly shape. In that cellophane-like flesh, you'll see two protruding eyeballs, unlike those found in other octopuses. These eyes provide wider peripheral vision so that the octopus can see predators and prey alike. Like something out of a sci-fi movie, those eyes also rotate, perhaps offering the creature an even better way to see through the darkness of its deep haven. Number 7. The Dumbo Octopus. If Walt Disney himself was given a chance to design one of the weird creatures of the Mariana Trench, I'm pretty sure he'd sketch out the likeness of the Dumbo Octopus, or something quite similar. After all, this thing looks like it's been ripped out straight from a Disney movie. Copyright pending. So named for its cute little Dumbo the Elephant-like ears atop its 30-centimeter body, this adorable animal also has a set of wiggly eyes and a puckered mouth that only adds to its cartoonish looks. Sure, they might look cartoonish and somewhat fragile, but their bodies are designed to withstand the enormous pressures down in the deep sea where they call home, all the way down between 2,987 and 3,962 meters. Unlike most octopi, this species doesn't chomp and grind food with a beak-like mouth. Instead, it simply swallows its prey whole. Number 6. The Deep Sea Dragonfish. With oversized teeth and a face that's enough to give you nightmares for weeks, the dragonfish is an assassin of the depths of the Marianas Trench. It's covered with a slimy skin instead of scales, very similar to that of eels. But make no mistake, this thing's a fish, and a very vicious one at that. Dragonfish, which are about 15 centimeters long, prefer to swim between 215 and 1850 meters under the surface, where the waters are lightless and cold. Like many deep water creatures, this species relies heavily on bioluminescent body parts, which leverage internal chemical reactions to produce an eerie glow. The fish may use this glow to communicate with other fish or to provide camouflage. It also dangles a lighted barbel, or whisker-like protrusion, from its lower jaw. Other fish are attracted to the barbel, mistaking it for an easy meal. But in a flash, the dragonfish gives a lunch instead. 
Some dragonfish have also evolved the ability to produce a red glow, an unusual color of light for ocean dwellers. They may use their reddish hue to signal their brethren, but it's more likely that they're using the red lamp to illuminate prey just before launching an attack. Number 5. The Frilled Shark Frilled sharks look like a mix and match special from the discount aisle at your local evolution convenience store. They have the rounded body of an eel paired with a flattened head that would look right at home atop a terrestrial dinosaur. Perhaps that's fitting because, like many sharks, this species has ancient roots that extend back nearly 80 million years. The shark derives its name from six rows of frilly gills that grace its body, which grows up to 1.8 meters long. Just as notably, the shark wields more than 20 rows of wicked trident-shaped teeth that will tear into any bit of flesh that passes near them. Filled sharks probably spend most of their lives near the ocean's bottom, and they like waters more than 1,200 meters deep. On the rare occasion that people snag them and bring them to the surface, the sharks almost always perish immediately. This, of course, makes it very difficult for us to observe their behavior and life cycles. For years, many people assumed that frilled sharks swam and hunted like eels. Some researchers think that an awkward arrangement of internal organs would make that kind of movement impossible. Instead, they say, these sharks actually strike their prey with the action of a land-based snake, making them even weirder, honestly. Number 4. The Deep Sea Hatchetfish There are a lot of odd-looking fish in the sea, but only one of them resembles a human's hand tools used to chop wood. And that, my friend, is the Deep Sea Hatchetfish. There are more than 40 species of hatchetfish. All of them have ridiculously skinny bodies, and many of them have shiny scales as well. This adds to the metallic hatchet-like appearance. They're very small fish, and even the biggest sabs grow only to about 15 centimeters long. Their delicate looks contradict just how hardy these fish are, and that's because they're found in depths pushing nearly 51,500 meters. Hatchetfish have bioluminescent bodies, and they can alter the brightness of their glow depending on how much light is filtering from above. In doing so, they're counter-illuminating their bodies in a clever camouflage technique. Their dim self-produced light reduces their silhouettes, making it much more difficult for predators to spot them from down below. Number 3. The Benthicodon Jellyfish are fairly common sea creatures, washing up on shores and clogging fishermen's nets. The Benthicodon, though, is an unusual type of jellyfish that prefers an environment far out at sea at depths of more than 762 meters, often right on the seafloor. These are compact jellyfish with a rounded top called the bell. The bell is typically smaller than 3 quarters of an inch to 2 to 3 centimeters in diameter, and it's laced with an estimated 1,500 wispy red tentacles which it uses to whisk itself through the water. The benthicodon dines on small crustaceans and foraminiferans, tiny unicellular organisms. Although many types of jellyfish are transparent, the benthicodon has an opaque reddish coloring on its bell. Scientists believe that this hue may help mask the bioluminescent glow of the tiny animals that the jellyfish eats, hiding the benthicodon from danger. Like so many animals in the trench, this species remains a mystery to scientists. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This has got to be the weirdest fish I've ever seen, if you can even call it a fish. If this thing could speak, I bet I know exactly what it would say. <sighs> End my suffering! Or something along those lines. Anywho, if something like this was found, it would have been pretty big news. Unfortunately, there's nothing I could find about the background of this creature. It could be concept art, and there's actually a lot of that floating around on the internet. But if there's a real-life concept art looking like creature on Earth, you'll definitely find them in the Mariana Trench. And the next creature is certainly one of them, even though we've seen it several times. An oldie but a goodie, we have number two. The Sea Devil Anglerfish. This creature looks more like something that someone uploaded to DeviantArt, but the Sea Devil Angler is a real fish, and it's definitely one of the weirdest ones I've ever seen. And given my job of reading this stuff, that's saying something. It's hard not to start with the Sea Devil's looks, with its misshapen body, razor-like teeth, and cold death stare. Although they're bizarre and scary looking, at least they're not that big. Females generally top out at 20 centimeters long. The males, though, are much smaller at 2.5 centimeters long. In a strange evolutionary twist of reproduction, the males actually fuse themselves to the females. Their fins, teeth, and eyes disappear, along with a few internal organs, ultimately turning the two individuals into one. What's left of the male's body essentially becomes a storage tank for sperm that will help fertilize the female's eggs when the time is right. As an anglerfish, the sea devil doesn't dart after its prey. Instead, it has a protrusion from its forehead that dangles a glowing lure to attract star-struck luckless animals. 
With a set of huge, gaping jaws, the sea devil can actually devour creatures larger than itself quite easily. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Zombie Worm. It's actually called an Ossidax, a name that really doesn't do it justice. That's why they're also called Bone Worms or Zombie Worms, names that are much better suited for them. Why is that though? Well, because they can consume the rock hard bones of some of the Earth's biggest animals, including whales. That's why. The zombie worm secretes acids to help it access the inner contents of those dead whale bones, and then it uses symbiotic bacteria to convert the bone's proteins and fats into nutrients that serve as its food. Its feathery branches wiggle in the water, pulling in oxygen to keep the worm alive. Female zombie worms can grow up to around 5 centimeters long. The males themselves are microscopic by comparison, and females will collect a male harem of these tiny guys on their bodies. Eventually, the males find their way into the female's oviducts. The female releases her fertilized eggs into the water, and the worm's life cycle begins anew, and the zombie worms go about their business of cleaning up whale debris in the ocean's darkest corners. Which of these creatures weirded you out the most? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.